Hello everybody, welcome back again to another video. Uh, we got some Sony fanboys. So first is a first is a clip from my live stream that a Sony fanboy by the name of MBG did. He used to be an Xbox fanboy, but he switched because he's another crap gamer. He was none of the one of those that switched to to attempt to get more viewership on his channel. And also, they, they didn't like you know how Xbox was putting their games on PC, kind of like how Sony is starting to do now. Anyway, let's get to the clip. Uh it, it it's 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 cool and it's okay if Sony and this is what people are saying it's the rhetoric like oh it's okay if Sony buys exclusives and Sony locks down exclusives but it's bad when Microsoft does it oh Xbox bad and I'm like what in God's name are you guys talking about because if I look across the internet the only thing I see are a bunch of people slobbering all over Microsoft all over Activision, I, I mean, every day, I'm just seeing all over Twitter, just these these charts and these pictures and these graphs and these whatever, these compilations of all the shit that Microsoft owns now. And I'm like, what are you talking about? What, because, what, it, it's bad because people are like, hey, Microsoft has had a history of trying to create a fucking monopoly and people are now concerned. Maybe that's their long game here and they're going to try to do it that means it's, oh, it's Xbox bad. I hate to fucking break it to people, but Xbox has been bad for a long time because people have not been satisfied with their fucking games. That's why people look at Xbox as bad. And the only reason why people look at them as good now is because they just bought a bunch of fucking games. And they're like, hey, you thought you, you want to make fun of us? Xbox has no games. We can't make our games. Well, damn it. Here you go. And I'm like, well, you know what? Can't argue with that logic. I see people saying like, oh, I guess you wanted competition. I'm like, actually, let me tell you what I fucking wanted. I wanted Xbox to make some good fucking games. That's what I wanted. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't fucking say, hey, Xbox, go out there and buy massive publishers. That'll make you good. Like, no, I've never advocated for that once. I've never if Microsoft wanted to get some timed exclusivities or some shit, okay, okay, yeah, go for it, man. You did it with Tomb Raider, do it some more. Go for it. I just, I don't get it with people, man. I don't get it. It's like, you're going to fucking cheerlead a fucking company that just weeks ago was absolutely being shit on by everybody and their mother. <sighs> Look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry. <laughs> oh, it's a bittersweet. Oh, uh, this is assault from these fanboys after they spent all last generation saying, Oh, Xbox has no games. No games. Oh my god. Oh, there's more salt too. So, considering that yesterday, Eric Greenberg changed his profile picture to a picture of himself alongside, you know, Crash Bandicoot. And I guess Sony fanboys got mad with that? Like, what? Anyway, anyway, let me show you. Thanks again, Ben, for creating this for fun and my new profile picture. Seeing a lot of reactions and just want everyone to know this was about celebrating fan creation, which I very often use for profile pictures on the center. Yes, he does. I've seen it. Must be my fault to stay positive and treat all gamers respectfully. Well, let me show you some uh, very interesting reactions. So, let me show you. We have JC on the upper left. You know, Xbox has some very good people. Although I make jokes, I really respect the intellectual leaders. Yeah, they have some good leaders there. I agree with them, actually. But this guy, I can never stand the way he talks and his attitude. Unprofessional, emotionally driven, console warrior marketing for bots. Shaking my effing head. Whatever. I mean, you never catch Yoshida posing next to Darth Robin. Microsoft's business has no dignity, man. No respect either. Uh, Sony doesn't either. With how they've acted this whole time. Damn, how can Phil Spencer agree with this? There is This is something really rude and gives bad ex feedback to Xbox. People like this should not work at this level. Just my opinion. This is why I never buy an Xbox. I don't want to be a part of the Xbox community. Uh-huh, right. I mean, the Sony community can be pretty toxic too, so you shouldn't be talking. I'm not a fan of Xbox games because I find the, the quality much lower than PlayStation's. 
Eh, that's debatable. However, I never had an issue with the platform. Yeah, sure, okay. Some executives, though, do put one off from ever investing in Xbox, just can't support such people, classes. Some will have no shame in bragging about a creation to vote by the competitor, PlayStation would never need to use a previous Xbox IP to brag. They create their own masterpiece. Oh, I guarantee you, dude. I guarantee you, if Sony got their hands on something like, um, Sunset Overdrive, which they will not. I bet you if they remaster it, they would brag about about it in a second. If they make it's not gonna make a second, it's exclusive place. I bet you they would freaking brag about it. I guarantee it. And finally, we have Salt King. What the blank is this? I don't know what that that one it, in it clown emoji style of Xbox executives, PlayStation executives, whatever. Oh really? You really? Oh really? You want to go there? All right, let me show you. You remember this? You remember that? I'm sure you. I'm sure you all remember this now, don't you? Infamously from E3 2013, where Sony openly mocked uh, Xbox's no used games thing. They were doing that whole you know TV TV thing back in the day. That you know it got, got them so much backlash, and that almost killed Xbox as a whole. Because that was actually true. Because back in 2016, there was a real possibility that Microsoft was going to exit the game industry. So. So here's my reaction to all this crying. <laughs> you serious? Yeah, y'all serious? I mean, I guarantee you. Like, Sony t I mean, both Microsoft and Sony, they take jabs at each other all the time. It's all a good fun, dude. Like, why take this so seriously? For the sake of console wars? For the console wars, all you, all you suckers are crying on Twitter while while people on Xbox have been playing Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite. And chill, in just in a couple weeks, you'll be getting, for, getting Horizon Forbidden West. And you'll probably still be crying on Twitter about the acquisition. You all need to grow the fuck up. You all need to grow up. God damn. Seriously, it's, it's not that serious. Chill, it's all in good fun. Like, jeez. You all look like a bunch of man-children. So, anyway, that's it for this video. What do you think of all the salt and tears? Like, I'll, I'll, have, I'll, probably make, I'll probably make another video eventually about, like, what I want from this acquisition, personally. So, so until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.